Hi, my name is Jamie Knukin and welcome to IBD School. In this video, IBD School 326, we'll talk about the role for medical marijuana in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Marijuana is composed of hundreds of active compounds called phytocannabinoids. The two most commonly known and studied are delta-9 tetrahydrocannabidiol, or THC, or cannabidiol. Each of these compounds has different effects on the human body. There have been multiple studies that have shown that about 10 to 15 percent of IBD patients are currently using marijuana for control of their abdominal symptoms. While some studies have shown that patients have significant improvement in their symptoms, there have been several other studies that have shown the negative effects associated with marijuana use in IBD. A Canadian study found that patients who used marijuana in the last six months were five times more likely to require surgery for Crohn's disease than not. Another study found that those patients who had used marijuana had a worse quality of life than those patients who did not use marijuana. To date, there has only been one randomized controlled trial to evaluate the effects of marijuana in the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease. This small Israeli study of 21 patients with Crohn's disease who were randomized to either smoke marijuana or smoke placebo. Of the patients who smoked marijuana, 90% had improvement in their symptoms. However, 40% of the placebo group also reported improvement in their symptoms. In the end, they found that patients who smoked marijuana reportedly felt better. There was no actual improvement in their disease as measured by inflammatory markers at eight weeks. This study suggests that while marijuana may be useful for symptom management, it has no effect on disease activity and thus cannot be recommended for the treatment of Crohn's disease. In fact, the authors conclude that they don't recommend using marijuana in the management of Crohn's disease. There have been no randomized controlled trials in patients with ulcerative colitis. Marijuana has been studied in other diseases outside of inflammatory bowel disease and has been shown to improve appetite and might have the greatest benefit in patients with HIV-related weight loss. Although many use marijuana for the relief of chemotherapy-related nausea, it has not been shown in studies to actually improve nausea. In animal studies, it has been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects, but this has not been shown in human studies. Overall, marijuana has a good safety profile. However, there are safety concerns with long-term marijuana use. The immediate effects of marijuana can include anxiety or psychoses, but there have been several things associated with long-term marijuana use, including an increased risk for motor vehicle accidents and cannabis hyperemesis syndrome. As of now, there is not enough evidence to suggest a benefit of medical marijuana use in our patients with inflammatory bowel disease. We currently are not using marijuana to treat patients with IBD. And while the medical use of cannabis synthetic derivatives has been FDA approved for other conditions, it has not been approved for use in inflammatory bowel disease. There are currently no synthetic FDA approved forms of marijuana available for our IBD patients. We know that there are many cannabinoid receptors in the intestine, and it is possible that future cannabinoid-based therapies may prove effective for symptom control in IBD. This has been IBD School Episode 326. For more information on symptom management, please watch our videos on Levsin, Bental, and Imodium in the 300 series. I'm Jamie Knukin, and thank you for watching IBD School.